Do you think this is a self-sustaining recovery now, independent of the need of further stimulus? Yeah, look, uh, again, extending small business loans would be a good thing, and there's some other important facets, but I do think it's self-sustaining. I've said this before. What you have here is a housing boom, you have a retail sales boom, you have an automobile boom, strong consumer spending, and uh, we're getting, you know, we've recovered over half of the jobs we lost last winter. Um, inventories have collapsed in the second quarter. I think they were down $300 billion. Um, so the way I see it, Jonathan, is to meet these demands, housing, construction, automobiles, consumers, retailers, yeah. and so forth, we're going to need to rebuild inventories. And that is going to add impetus to the second half growth, which will be at least 20 percent and perhaps much more. I think the Atlanta Fed has uh, the third quarter at 30 percent. But anyway... Uh, Self-sustaining, yes. Uh, we're going to go on for quite some time. Next year is going to be a banner year for the economy and for jobs, assuming the policy regime is uh, pro-growth with incentives. So I'm, I'm relatively optimistic. Now, I will say we have much more work to do. We're not out of the woods. We have too many people unemployed, even though the numbers have improved radically and way ahead of uh, expectations on Wall Street. We have more work to do. There's still way too many unemployed and much too much hardship. I get that. But I think one has an optimistic rebound in mind. And I think, incidentally, the virus numbers are helping uh, quite a bit as they flatten down and hook lower.